Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to display positive values only in a formula in Excel. Uh, I have a spreadsheet all set up here and I have two columns of numbers, one I'm calling A, one I'm calling B, not a very exciting list, but it should get the point across. And I have a column where I'm going to calculate the difference, A minus B, and I'm going to uh, show you how you can display the positive values only. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put in a formula and it's just equals, and we click over here on A2 minus B2, we just click on that, hit return, and there's the, there's the result. And what we wanna do is copy that formula down to all the other cells. So click on the cell, uh, move the cursor till it turns to a solid plus sign and drag it down. That's a very convenient way of copying a formula to different cells. And we see that um, some of the differences are negative. And we, what we want to do is do something where we only display the positive values. So the best way I know of to do this is to, is to go to the cell and, and it, we're going to have a little more complicated formula. And let me just scroll in so you, you, you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to do an if statement. And we're going to say, so I just put the cursor in before the A2 minus B2. And we're going to say if, and then an open parentheses, and we're going to do an um, if the difference is positive, we're going to display it, and if it's not, we're going to display nothing. Uh, so we put the cursor at the end here. So if A2 minus B2 is greater than or equal to zero, comma, so that's the test, and then we want to say what do we do if, whoops, if we, if we pass the test, what are we going to want to do? If we pass the test, we're going to display it. So we're going to display A2 minus B2. And if it's not true, we're going to display nothing. Now, the best way to display nothing is to, um, is to just have two double quotes. That just means it's going to display an empty text string, meaning nothing. So we're going to type two double quotes and then, it, which is just a text string with nothing in it, and then we're gonna do the close parentheses to close the formula, and hit return. And let me just scroll back out here. So what we have here is in the formula in cell C2 is that formula, and then just like we did before, we're going to drag it down to all the other cells, and sure enough, in the ones where the result is negative, like in line three, where 72 minus 85 is less than zero, the formula is still there, but we're displaying nothing. Now, you may wonder, what if, we just, what if we just go up here and instead of the empty text string, if we just leave nothing as the, as the last thing in the if, uh, if statement? In other words, the, the, if the if statement is false, we just, and you can do this in a formula, we just have nothing in the formula. So let's try that and see what happens. We, we do that, and we, when we drag the formula down, and it, it puts a zero in. If, if it fails the test, and if we don't tell it to put an empty text string in, it enters in a zero. In other words, it thinks we want a number, and if, if, it's, if, we, if we don't tell it what we want, it puts in zero. So we didn't want to do that. I mean, I'm gonna undo what we did here, and undo it a couple of times, because I, I put the formula in and then I dragged it down. So there's our original formula with the empty text string. And so that's just a very useful thing anytime in Excel when you're worried about what's displayed and you want it just to display nothing, you just use an, uh, an if statement and then if it, it fail, fails the test, you put in an empty text string. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to display only the positive values in a formula in Excel. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.